So we're coming up on five years since Apple introduced the Apple Pencil 2 alongside the 2018 redesigned iPad Pro. And for better or for worse, that Apple Pencil 2 has had zero physical changes, no physical updates, there's no inkling of an Apple Pencil 3 coming out, and the price, at least from the Apple retail side, has remained the same at 130 US dollars. You can find it for 110, 120 on Amazon brand new, maybe they have some discounts, but directly from Apple, for five years, Apple has kept the price at $130 for an Apple Pencil that from a software standpoint has only had like two or three small and tiny little features be added as iPadOS has evolved through the years. So in this video, what I wanna do is talk about the Apple Pencil 2, but then also some alternatives that I've been using. As you guys can see, I'm always testing different Apple Pencil alternatives at different price points because you can now buy an Apple Pencil alternative from Amazon for 20 bucks, but does it get you all the way to the same value and the same use cases that the $130 Apple Pencil kind of gives you already? And there's also that middle ground where they're like 30, 40, 50 dollars where you'd be surprised how far you can get with some of these Apple Pencil alternatives and that market has really caught up to what the Apple Pencil 2 can do. So without further ado, let's talk about three different Apple Pencil alternatives that I wanna show off at three different price points and I'll let you guys decide on which one you think is gonna be the best value for your money and I'll link them all below as well. Let's get into it. Okay everyone, so let's get started. The first one we're gonna talk about is this Penoval A4 pencil. And the first thing you notice is that it's a different color. One of the most annoying things about Apple is that they do not offer any colors, any customizations, nothing different. So every Apple Pencil 2 that's out in the wild is identical. With some of these third party alternatives from a company like Penoval, you have the ability to choose different colors. I believe they have like four or five different colors. I love the black colorway. And what I like about it is that this little divot still exists. So you can slap it on here and it still magnetically attaches. It's not charging magnetically, which we will touch on on the next pencil, but it does attach magnetically and the magnets are very strong, very easy to use, very self-explanatory. And again, it just, in my opinion, it looks cooler. I like this black aesthetic and it works immediately. So to actually connect this is very easy. You do not actually need to Bluetooth connect this. It kind of just works on its own. The one thing that you need to do, and this is gonna be the same thing for any Apple Pencil alternative for some reason, maybe it's because of the way the Bluetooth functionality works, is that if for any reason you had an Apple Pencil 2 prior to this, make sure to forget the Apple Pencil 2 completely from your Bluetooth list. And then after that, for this Penova one, for instance, there is a touch sensitive surface on the top. You press it once, it turns on that little white light that you see right there, and it starts working immediately. There's nothing that's Bluetooth connected. So if I go into my Bluetooth settings, you do see the P10 pencil that is connected, but that's this other alternate one which we're gonna to touch on second. But this one just works normally. So you can control anything. It acts as a stylus, it works very well. And then obviously what I'm gonna go get into is the notes. So if I scroll down, I can go in here and use any of these pencil tips. So if I click on the pencil tips, pick on this one, I'm gonna go with the second one and just write my name, you can see that it works. Now the latency isn't as good as that nine millisecond latency that you see from Apple and what they tout. But for somebody that's just taking handwritten notes and maybe drawing some shapes and maybe drawing a circle, you know, maybe doing a little bit of a cloud right here, which is cool. It works extremely fine. There's no issues whatsoever. You know, if you're maybe a full-time designer and you need that crazy millisecond latency, then maybe you might see a difference. But for somebody like me, for somebody that doesn't really need it that much, combination of this with some sort of paper-like screen protector or something like that for handwritten notes works extremely well. As you can see, it works well. I know my handwriting is terrible, but what I do wanna show you is that it should also work with Scribble. So if I click on this, kinda of scroll down a little bit and then write hello, it actually turns my written text into regular text. So it still works with Scribble, it still works anywhere else. So if I go in here, go into Safari, and if I wanna scribble in something here, Again, my handwriting is terrible, but Scribble, it'll still work with Scribble wherever Scribble is working natively. So that's something to take into account. So to charge it, you do need to charge it via USB-C. It takes about an hour to charge. If you aren't using it within five minutes, it's gonna idle time and it's gonna turn off. So it does say battery. You get about 12 to 15 hours per charge. But again, I'm not charging this too often. I kind of equate it to charging a wireless mouse. How often do you really charge a wireless mouse? To each their own. For me, I charge my wireless mouse like once every three months. That's kind of how I've been charging this Penova pencil. So I really like the fact that it is a different color. You have that variation. It's very cheap. I believe it's about 20 to $22, depending on which one you decide on and which color variation you get on. So this is our cheapest and most budget friendly option. And from a longevity standpoint, I've actually had this one the longest. I've had this one for a little over a year and I use it pretty frequently and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It's compatible with pretty much any iPad on the market right now. So iPad 10 generation, iPad 9 generation, but it works with the iPad 6 generation and newer, works with the iPad 4 generation and newer, works with the, any iPad Pro. 
and you pretty much are all set with this one and for the price it's pretty much unbeatable so i'll link it down below for you guys to check out and overall it just works very well and then lastly you do have the removable nib situation so i can unscrew this the nibs are a little bit different than the actual apple pencil 2 nibs versus the next one we're going to talk about they actually use the same apple pencil 2 nibs but it does come with a nib in the box an extra one if you do need it and i haven't had any scratching or issues like that on the actual ipad but again i use the ipad with a screen cover at all times but now let's move on to that second option so now let's talk about that mid-tier option and the mid-tier option is this eip Pencil Pro, if I can kind of get it to focus. And it comes in this white color. It is a little bit lighter than the Apple Pencil 2, so keep that in mind. But again, not by much. The feel in the hand is relatively the same. It feels maybe a little bit more glossy in the hand, but still very easy to hold on to. You can just slap an Apple Pencil grip as well, which I'll link one down below if you guys want to try it out. But again, what I really like about this one is that they pretty much do everything that you would need when it comes to an Apple Pencil functionality. So the first thing is just like the last one, if you for some reason already had an Apple Pencil 2, make sure to fully disconnect that Apple Pencil 2 to make sure that you can connect this one. And to connect it is very easy. You just double tap on this touch sensitive tip right here on the top, and then you can go into Bluetooth pairing mode. And then what I really like about this is that it gives you actual wireless magnetic charging. It also works with battery indicators right here. So you can see it keeps going in and out because it actually is going into standby mode. So in your battery widget, this EIP Pencil Pro does show up and then you can see that I'm gonna slap it on the top to charge and you'll see what happens. So you can see the charging indicator, it's actually showing that it is charging in real time, which I think is absolutely magnificent. And the fact that you can get this in a pencil that's less than $40, I believe it's 32, it's on sale right now, is amazing. And then the way you charge it, let's say you have an iPad 10 generation or an iPad that doesn't support this magnetic wireless charging, you probably ask yourself, how do you charge it? Because there is no USB-C port on this actual Apple Pencil and it comes with a little wireless charging cradle. So it's probably not the most convenient thing in the world and I actually don't use that charging cradle at all, but it does work plenty well. So in terms of some of the specs for this pencil, you do get in the box, you get the stylus, you get a replacement nib, which actually is just replaceable the same way that the Apple Pencil 2 is. You just kind of screw this off and you can see that the nib does come off right here. So that's good to see. And then you also, like I said, you get your Type-C charging cable with that little cradle. And then it does give you up to 12 hours of runtime and the charge time takes about 70 minutes. But again, since you can magnetically charge it just like the regular Apple Pencil 2, Battery life has been a non-issue for me with this EIP Pencil Pro. And then in terms of actual function, it works just like any other Apple Pencil. You can use it to swipe between stuff. And the biggest thing that I wanna show off is actually going to your notes. So in your notes, it works extremely well. So it works with all the different pencil tips. So if I pull up this little pencil tip right here, you can see that it does work. It works with the little design. So if I put a square, it's gonna give you a square. If I do a circle, it will give you a circle, which is great to see. That's actually a little cloud. So if I actually do a cloud, It'll give me a nice kind of cartoony cloud and the list goes on. You can even do the star, which is great, which again, that was a very ugly star. And it also works with scribble. So if I do this A right here and I do hello, it'll actually type that out for me. And you can see that it is typed out perfectly right there. So it works with scribble, it works with all the different tips. You can highlight right there. It is also pressure sensitive. So the harder you push, the better it is. And then also tilt sensitivity. So you can see that right there, the tilt is kind of intense and then down, it's not as intense anymore. So. Again, it works very similar to the Apple Pencil. You have your eraser, which is great to see. You can actually control the ruler. You can kind of swipe through here and look at all the different ones. So you have your calligraphy pen. So if I do hello like this, I mean, I don't really know how to write in calligraphy, but it's something that you can actually attest to and it's very easy to use. So again, for $32 or I believe $40, depending on when you're watching this, this gives you everything that you would need out of an Apple Pencil alternative, which is absolutely amazing. And that magnetic charging really sets it over the top. Now, one thing to consider is that you do not have the double tap feature. So the double tap shortcut does not exist. So if I double tap on here, it does not work. Nothing is happening there. And then of course, if you are an M2 iPad Pro user, the hover feature does not work either. So it does not have hover and it does not have the double tap shortcut, but but other than that, it gets the job done. And again, this is an M1 iPad Pro that I'm using and it works with literally any iPad that's currently in Apple's ecosystem. And then in terms of compatibility, it works with any iPad Pro with the iPad Air third or newer, the iPad mini fifth or newer, and then the iPad six or newer. So even the ninth and 10th generation iPad, it works perfectly well because it connects with Bluetooth. And now let's talk about the Apple Pencil 2. 
So here are the two pencils side by side. As you can kind of see, they're literally the same length, they're the same width, they're the same kind of circumference. And as I mentioned, the Apple Pencil 2 is just the slightest bit heavier, which to each their own, if you are an artist and that is something that you require, you want something a little bit more sturdy and a little bit heavier, then by all means, a $130 Apple Pencil is the way to go. But again, the Apple Pencil 2 gives you everything that you would get from Apple, right? Every feature, every subset, every settings menu is gonna be there. So some of the things to consider is that obviously, to connect it, you do get that nice little animation. Apple Pencil logo drops right there, starts charging, and now you are connected. So you don't need to fiddle and fuss with the actual Bluetooth settings like you do with the other Apple Pencil alternatives. And then it just starts working. Everything works as it's intended to. You get that nine millisecond delay, which is great. Overall, I mean, the Apple Pencil 2 is everything that Apple wants it to be. My only gripe, and I'm on, I'm on the beta program, that's why it's kind of jittering like that, just so you know. But my biggest gripe with Apple Pencil 2 is that there's been no innovation. I mean, what would I want it to do? I don't know, maybe make it a shutter button, maybe add some more shortcuts, the ability to maybe use it in different scenarios. Because right now, if I go into the settings, go into my Apple Pencil 2, there isn't really much that you can do, right? You have the option to change the toggle of your actual double tap, into four different options, and that is pretty much it when it comes to the Apple Pencil 2. So from a feature standpoint and customization standpoint, you can't really do much. That's why I think it's kind of okay, especially if you're somebody that isn't like a designer and all you do is you take handwritten notes. Something like the EIP or the Pinovo Pencil is, some, is you know a great alternative to save you a lot of money and get you almost like 90 to 95 to even 99% of the way there. So the Apple Pencil 2, I have a full video on all the different features of the Apple Pencil 2 because you can do a lot when you really think about it, but, but it's not like these can't do the same thing. So I'll, I'll link that video down below as well if you guys do wanna check out a complete walkthrough and tutorial of the Apple Pencil 2 and all of its functionality. But for $130, I'd rather get this. And even from a longevity standpoint, I've had this one for over six months. The Pinovo I've had for over a year and I've had zero issues with it from a nib standpoint, from a function standpoint, from a connectivity standpoint or battery standpoint. So from a longevity perspective, yes, I've had this Apple Pencil 2 since the beginning, I believe, you know, four or five years now at this point and it still works perfectly fine. And I bet, I'm sure maybe these, don't, maybe they don't last as long, I guess, maybe, but just buy another one because you can buy four of these before you buy one of these but let's finish up this video. So that will just about do for this video, everybody. As you saw, these Apple Pencil alternatives have actually really caught up from a feature set standpoint to the Apple Pencil 2. Like the cheapest Apple Pencil, you can get away with a lot of the different features and functionality that the Apple Pencil 2 brings at $130. So in my opinion, the best is the middle ground, the EIP, Pencil Pro, I believe it's called, because it does allow you to charge magnetically on your iPad, and it also brings a magnetic charging cable if you are using something like the iPad 10th generation or the iPad 9th generation that doesn't support that magnetic connectivity. Like at this point, it's very tough for me to recommend the Apple Pencil 2 at $130. If you find it used for maybe 70 or 80, then maybe, but the only feature that you're gonna be missing out on is that hover feature, and you can literally only use that if you have an M2 iPad Pro. That is the only feature that these alternatives have not been able to replicate, but the number one thing for me was the magnetic wireless charging, which they finally were able to do with the EIP Pencil Pro. But things like the Pinovo A4 Pro, it's still worth it, and there's other even cheaper ones that I'll list down below if you guys do wanna try them out. I just wanted to focus on three, with the Apple Pencil 2 being that kind of high price point. And then the last thing I wanna mention is that I will be giving away one of these pencils, so all you have to do is comment down below and I'll actually announce the winner one week later in a video. Please don't fall for anybody trying to pretend to be nine to five Mac. I'll just pick somebody randomly from the comments and I'll talk about it in the video and I will only announce that winner in the next video next week. So definitely stay subscribed. And if you guys wanna watch some more iOS, iPadOS, or macOS content, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando. I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.